In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to take a second look at using keyboard shortcuts or hotkeys in order to speed up your editing. It's faster in many cases to leave your hands on the keyboard than to reach over and use the mouse to click on a button or a menu item. In the first tutorial, we showed you that one of the easiest ways to play and stop or pause a video is simply by pressing the space bar. I'll do that now and I'll click inside my power director and press the space bar and we'll see that that will work. And when I press it again, that will pause it. Now there's another great thing that you can do with this shortcut key. Oftentimes we find ourselves splitting a clip. And if I want to navigate to where I want it to split, I can simply press the period key to move one frame to the right as I'm doing right now and you can see in the time code in the center of the screen I'm moving to four seconds and let's go to 16 frames right there let's assume I want to split it instead of moving the mouse I can use the shortcut key for split in order to split it I simply hold the control key down and hit the T key and that will split it at that location. Now if I do not highlight the track I want split, you notice it will split everything. This gets me to another very common key I use all the time, which is Control Z as in zebra. That will undo whatever you've done. That's almost universal in any Windows program. So now if I highlight only the video track and do Control T, now it will split that track. It will not split anything above or below it in my timeline. I'll do Control Z out of there. But Control T is a great way to split. You just have to decide what it is you want to split when you're working with that particular key. We showed you before that you can move forward and backward a frame by using the period key to move forward a frame. And we're doing that again now. Or the comma to move back. Now if you want to move faster than that, there are two ways you can do that. You can click on this little ruler, the Seek By, below the preview screen and change the default to Second. Now if you change it to Second, you'll see the icons change on the left and on the right. And now when I press the period key, watch the time indicator, I'm moving one second to the left or one second to the right with either the period key to the right or the comma key back to the left. So that's one way to do that. You can also change this seek by to minutes and if your project is long enough I'll go to the beginning. Now I'll press the period key and it will move a minute into my project but in this case I'm in clip mode so it moves as far as it can to the end of the clip. If I get back into movie mode and press the period key, it will move to one minute into the project. I press the comma key, it will move one minute back. So that's how you can move a minute at a time in your project, but you have to reset this. Now there's another way you can move by the second without changing the default on your seek by. You can leave it on one frame at a time. Another way in which you can move in that direction that fast is to use the Alt key and press the up arrow on your keyboard. So I'm depressing the Alt key, I'll press the up arrow, and now I'm moving a second at a time through my project. You can also hold it down and it will just keep moving. Likewise, you can hold the Alt key da down and press the down arrow so Alt Down will move back a second in your project. And so you can navigate one second at a time by using this technique. You don't have to change the settings on the Seek By below the preview screen. Sometimes I like to change the preferences. For example, I want to make all the transitions shorter. I want to make the still clips shorter to quickly get into the preferences option. I don't have to click on the gear on the top. I can hold the Alt key down and hit the C as in Charlie key. 
And here I can go into any of my submenus, for example, and I can change the duration of any titles, effects, transitions, or image files that I may add to my project. Then I can escape and get out of that when I'm done. And I can use the Alt uh, C as often as I want to get back into that screen. Let me give you one more. We're going to make this a multi-part tutorial, but I don't want to overwhelm you. Another one that's really nice is the opportunity to take a snapshot of the frame where your time indicator happens to be. So I'm going to use my Alt and down arrow to move back a little bit. And let's assume right here I want to take a snapshot or create a still image of this frame. The easy way to do that, rather than clicking on the camera below the preview screen, is do Control P. It will ask where I want it and what the title should be. I'll say test and press enter. And now it just created a snapshot of that particular frame. So control P, which is often used in other programs to print, actually in a sense does print. It takes a copy of that frame and saves it in your hard drive and stores it up in your media room. So those are a few of the ones that I would put in my first or second level of most useful tools in terms of shortcuts. We're going to continue this exercise and give you some others that I think you will find helpful as well. Mm -hmm.